Hello guys and welcome back to Besiege. Today I will show you how to make a swashplate helicopter. If you don't know what swashplate is, you better google it now. So we're going to make four different RTC mechanism that are vertical connect them all together oh wait i'm connected i have connected it already connect them then connect them to the core block connect the bottom part then we're going to take and add the controls this should be up, this should be down. Let's test if it works. Yep, it works. Now we're going to take a wheel, place two of them, then delete the bottom one. Wait, wrong. Should be aligned. Then delete the bottom part. <coughs> now we're going to take the ball joint, place it on top, connect those ball joints to the ballast. Then we're going to take another wheel, place it on top. Now we're going to take the motor wheel, place it on top of the large wheel. Now we're going to take the ball joint, place it on top. Then, then we're going. Then we're going to take the brace and connect it to the pistons over here. Now we're going to take the large wheel, then a small wheel, and place another large wheel on top of it. We're going to make a bi rotor helicopter. We're going to take. The swivel joint, place it on every side. Now we're going to take the hinges and place it on one side of the hinges. I mean, of the one side, the swivel joints. Do it on top, but on the other side, on the opposite side. Now we're going to get our propellers and place it on the swivel joints do it the same at the bottom so I just did the same uh, pattern here on top but it won't be controlled by the swash plate the only part that would be controlled by the swash plate is the bottom part it's just to balance the weight now we're going to brace these hinges so that they won't move now we're going to take the ball joint place it on every single one of these on the seer in the center then brace them to the hinges like that now we're going to check if the spin is correct the hell was that? I'm going to set the controls, toggle, the same, the same. Let's see if it spins. Spins the wrong way. It spins the wrong way again. Let me just fix spin. There you go. We're going to flip this. Do the same with the top. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's correct already. The top one was correct. Why did I switch? Let's test the controls. Yep, it's working. See, it changes the pitch depending on the control I do. Now we're going to add the tail 
a vertical stabilizer so it won't just fly around everywhere without any control but that another one uh, there you go I'm going to take the wing panel and place it vertically connect connect the bottom I'm going to connect this ball joint here the one inside we need to delete this first and connect to the tail now we're going to add the wheel again and give it the control there you go let's add some landing gears wonder if it, this will work let's test it first so it's too slow huh we're going to double the speed every single one so I reverse the control huh so the pitch up is now pitched down yep the control is currently reversed something was wrong Yeah, I added the tail in the wrong direction. Sorry about that. I'm going to flip this. Flip the controls down and up, up and down. Now let's test it. We're going to center. We're going to adjust the center of mass. We need it in the direct center of this core block. It should be at the same line the core block it should be aligned with the core block i'm going to add about let's test this if it will be enough let's give them some weight see if it will it doesn't it's not enough we're going to add another one in the sun in the front there you go it looks like it's aligned now yep our next step would be to balance the whole helicopter so it has we're going to reduce the speed of the bottom part. We're going to make it 1.5 and test it. It's not spinning to the right now. It's not spinning to the right anymore. So it's now more balanced. What we're going to fix now is the stabilization. It's stable when it's moving upwards, but once it's moving forwards, it starts to turn. So here's how we're going to fix that. We're going to add some small propellers over here and test if it will stabilize the helicopter. Let's try moving forwards. We might have to make this even more complicated if it, this doesn't work. Yep, it doesn't work. It really wants to turn to the right. Huh? We're going to add another one. Maybe we can add the controllable one over here. That swivel joint would help. Connect the. We're going to add the hinge and connect this hinge to the ball joint. I mean to the ballast in front. It will let uh, pitch up when it's trying to pitch up, and it levels out when it's time to pitch down let's try if this helped it added a weight it added some weight to the right side let's try moving forwards yep it's a little bit more stable now but we still have a lot to fix
it's now turning to the left. Now we're going to add another control of the tail, add the swivel joint. Then we're going to add this small propeller again. It's going to be pointing upwards. Then we're going to add the hinge. Over there, then a hinge. Then connect this to the ballast over here. We will add another set of control. Now that the weight has been moved backwards, we're going to add weight to the front ballast. Let's test if it's now more stable. It's still turning to the left. Now we're going to add a small propeller over here. This should balance it out should add maybe two more ballast to it the center one and we're going to connect them to the front add some mass so is it enough mass let's lay it to the ground yep it's, it's, it's enough as you can see it's even more balanced now just having a hard time pitching up <laughs> because of the speed of the spin how about we remove these two I think we just need to move the weight a lot ahead, a lot forward maybe this will work Add some weight. Not enough weight. We're going to add another one on the front. And connect this to the core block to make it look more like a helicopter. And there we go. We now have a swash plate controlled helicopter. We're going to add the camera over here. Let's reduce the distance and test it out. As you can see it flies really well. A swash plate is now controlling the helicopter. I can pitch down, I can pitch up. I can do almost everything a helicopter can do. So there you go, a swash plate helicopter. You just need some more fine tuning. You can just fix it even better if you want. But at its current state, it can now fly well. You just need some really, really small fine tuning here and there. So I hope you learned something. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.